that as parents that the district is telling us that they can't give us any information for legal reasons, but there's this reporter that has all the facts and all the details. So for us as parents, that's a really huge problem. And then the other factor is that we've been misled because we have evidence and proof that um, Vicki, the girls basketball coach, was acting as a boys basketball coach as early as yesterday morning getting in touch with um, tournament officials. Um, and I was told by the principal uh, yesterday uh, afternoon that as far as he knew, Coach Pope was coaching the game tonight. So I left the office under the assumption that he had not been officially fired. He was going to address my concerns that at the very least we could keep the season intact for these students and not disrupt their season, which by the way has been done every year for the last four years. Um, and they really bonded with Coach Pope. Um, and I felt like he understood my concerns and was going to do everything that he could um, to make that happen. That Coach Pope hadn't been fired and that he was coaching the game last night. Um, so I felt good. And then lo and behold, at 2.30, Coach Pope walked in for his meeting, was handed a letter, and came out of the office 30 seconds later. So uh, we were supposed to play Harvard Westlake yesterday. We played the day before. And our record was 6 0. And uh, we lost to Harvard Westlake. Chase was actually the highest score out of the 14, 19 points. Um, the, other, the other thing about it was today, I was told by the principal, who knew that between us, we didn't even know, he didn't even know, meaning the school, there was a game yesterday. Which is the other Yeah, I got to do it today. I got to do it today. Oh, 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 oh